Welcome to Korong San Wen, a small island in Cambodia. I spent four days on Sunset Beach, which is a secluded part of the island that is only accessible by getting a taxi boat or by doing a 40 minute hike. I opted to do the hike, but I got lucky and I got a free ride and I had about less than halfway to walk. So that was <laughs> like I literally just like started walking off the main pier at Saracen Bay and that guy um to see them he was just like oh just hop on and they'll drop me off well they'll take me as far as they can because they're going somewhere else and they just dropped me off there and it was so nice of them like so so nice very nice so now I just have to walk uh to sunset beach yeah, I'm not sure how much further I have to walk, but we will see. I'm actually in the jungle, but I have that very steep hill to walk up. I'm carrying two backpacks. Well, it's gonna be an adventure for sure. Yikes. There is only one point with Wi-Fi access on the Sunset Beach and so I just opted to not even get the Wi-Fi password because I wanted to be completely disconnected. So I had no Wi-Fi and absolutely no connection to the outside world for four days which was amazing. I have arrived at the Sunset Beach and I really like it yeah it feels really just zen and peaceful and this is exactly what i've been looking for uh for my trip here to cambodia i wanted something that was really peaceful and really chill and this is like the perfect place to be I'm excited the dorm rooms at Sunbury and I loved the whole concept behind making the whole building room from mosquito nets and earthenware and it is highly sustainable and eco-friendly and I highly recommend staying with Sunbury if you ever find yourself at Sunset Beach. I got a mushroom pizza and wow what more could you possibly ask for? Sunset Beach only consists of four accommodations and one dive shop every day from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. All the kitchens on the beach are closed and this allows for everyone, literally everybody, to just gather around the beach and watch the sunset, which I thought was such a beautiful and humane concept that, you know, everybody needs a break and just gathering to just take a moment to watch the sunset is just beautiful. Sanbu offered a free yoga class and so of course I took advantage and I joined the morning class the next day. We just had some morning yoga that was like two hours long. It was really really good and then I just had some breakfast which is like brunch because it's like maybe 12. Um, yeah, now I'm just walking in the jungle. <sighs> Breathe it in. Take advantage of just being surrounded by so much nature and so many trees. I'm really happy to be here. It feels like feels like home. You know, like yeah, it's just very nice. I feel very grounded and just 
whole and held and it's such a nice community type of like experience here everybody's so nice The original audio of this was really bad, but this was just basically me explaining that I felt sick this whole day. I was literally vomiting and yeah, I was really sick. And so I literally did nothing except just lounge in a hammock all day and nurse myself back to health. days on the island were such a beautiful blur. Each languid day flowed easily into the next day. I woke up each day to the sound of waves with no itinerary except lounging on a hammock, reading, napping at random intervals under the sun throughout the day. I honestly love this life and I hope that one day I will get to live out my island girl dreams for a longer period of time than just like a week. a lot of fish in this particular spot but it was still nice just being under the water and just exploring the ocean So like I have a combination of dollars and reels and my is just so confusing because sometimes when you buy something they give you dollars and the real back and it's like just super confusing because you don't know what the fuck is going on. But yeah, that's how the currency works. <laughs> it's quite strange and confusing but <laughs> I mean, it has been absolutely amazing being here, just being disconnected and just literally just doing nothing. My day consists of just 
Swimming, taking a dip in the ocean to cool down, laying in a hammock, reading, sleeping. Can't tell you the amount of times I've taken a nap and woke up and go, oh, it's only noon. Um, I really wish I could spend more time here. I've met people that said they've been here for like two weeks or so and I'm like wow that's like a real a real detox away from like the rest of the world it's great and it's just beautiful people I like. and I've kind of I wanted to go to like another beach called Lazy Beach but I'm honestly just like I don't really want to like I'm pretty happy just being here spending all my time here at Sunset Beach because it's still absolutely beautiful anyway um so yeah just like because it's like a 30 minute walk so um, it's really hot because i'm like I, I don't really need to put myself through that i'm happy enough just doing this often when we travel we want to see and do as much as we possibly can and we never take enough time to actually just relax and then and when we do relax we are clouded by guilt this trip really taught me the value of relaxing and resting when you're on holiday to actually take the time to just enjoy the simple things to sit and enjoy the view to savor the food and conversations we have with people we meet along the way i did exactly this for four days straight and i worked through the guilt of not doing enough or not thinking I was doing enough but I released the guilt and I let myself truly rest and do nothing but right now I am just taking these pictures I saw this off of like Pinterest I wanted to like recreate it but it's kind of a mission to try to keep these on my forehead I feel like I washed up a mermaid with Yeah, I don't know if I like it like this. It was pretty cool with like when it flowed down. So I'm gonna try to do it like that. And let's see, should I this one over here? No, <laughs> I look like Pinocchio or something. on my navel and slightly off center moments like this make me just super happy just laying on a beach playing with some shells i will put them back i will put them back into the water um because they belong in the water you know so Okay, I've got this pedal board. It's huge, like it's double my size. But I'm gonna try to get in there. This was my first time on a stand-up pedal board and for the first half, I just laid on the board and just floated. But I did eventually manage to stand up, proof. <laughs> the sun is starting to set and we're gonna be having a little sunset yoga at the yoga pavilion with some samples this should be great
this was honestly such a beautiful moment and for whenever i am a trained yoga teacher i would love to be able to just recreate this moment because it was so beautiful and special and i really do need to learn how to harness my energy towards singing bowls because wow just having the combination of yoga and the tibetan sound bowls was just amazing I love being on an island as I'm surrounded constantly by towering trees and the vast ocean and thus being in a state of constant awe. I read somewhere that this feeling of awe and introducing it in our daily lives can actually increase our life expectancy, make us happier and healthier. We can experience awe for example by swimming in the ocean, by walking in nature, losing ourselves in music and watching the sunrise or sunset good morning today is my last day here it honestly been such an amazing past four days and the time has flown by so quickly i'm like right how has it been four days already it literally feels like i got here yesterday so it's been absolutely amazing being disconnected and just being in this place it's been amazing and also yesterday was valentine's day which is like <laughs> crazy you know like being here it's i mean i just forgot about it because really the concept of time is just non-existent really <laughs> i've never really had a valentine's actually um all my like 23 years i've never had um someone be my valentine or be someone's valentine like so i've never really received anything like during valentine's day so that's you know there's that but i don't know it's not always gonna be like that but yeah anyway i'm not sure what time i need to leave i've got my like ferry tickets to go to the main like coastal town Sahani, but there was no time on the ticket so i'm like I'm not sure what time I'm actually supposed to do the long walk back. I really don't actually know. So, <laughs> I don't really want to leave here earlier than I have to, you know. Because if I leave here early and I have to stay at like Cyrus and Bay for like ages, I'll be pissed. Because obviously I want to spend more time here, you know. But yeah, anyway. a wonderful time in Cambodia the food was absolutely delicious and the islands were just breathtaking just gorgeous I got lucky because there were some other girls staying at the beach that were taking a taxi boat so I just joined them and we stopped at Empire Bay and waited for our ferry to take us to Sahanuk from there Thank you for watching my vlog and sharing these moments with me and I hope you enjoy watching my Cambodia vlog and I'll see you soon.